hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're joining me for the very first time my name is Fajiria. i'm so happy to have you here and for my returning subscribers thank you for always coming back so in today's video i'm just going to quickly show you how i make this delicious fried rice in front of me with very few ingredients and in 20 minutes still stay tuned let's dive into it of me is a parboid basmati rice i did parboid for five minutes then i have my frozen vegetables i'm going to be using then i have my spices and the spices i'm using as you can see are thyme seasoning cubes cameroon pepper and turmeric powder then also i have my garlic which is already chopped i also have my onion as well i'm going to be using Then I have my stock from the chicken I parboiled, so I'm going to use that. Then I also have salt, text, I'll be using. Then I have my olive oil, you can use vegetable oil, I'm a fan of olive oil. Then I have my green and yellow bell pepper, I will be using. They I've put a clean pot on the heat. So I'm going to add my olive oil and allow it to heat up for a little while. Then add my already chopped garlic then stir fry for a little while and also add my onion so i'm going to just allow it to stir fry for a little while then add my onion and keep stir frying so while that is added i will also add all my spices together and stir fry again so like i told you these are the spices i'm using you can actually use uh, curry if you're a fan of curry or the fried rice seasoning but well, i'm using turmeric powder because of its health benefits and i like the color as well so i've just added that then i have my boiled rice i'm going to add as well my boiled rice which i did for boiled for five minutes so I'm just going to add them gradually and combine them until they are properly combined. So I actually did avoid my rice because I want it to be really soft because of my kids. If it's not soft, they wouldn't want to eat it. So you can decide to just wash and not to, to parboil. So I'm adding my chicken stock now. Then I will stay again. I think the chicken stock I've added will not be enough because I want it to be properly cooked and soft for my kids to enjoy. So I'm going to add the remaining stock. But if you don't have chicken stock, don't worry. You can also use water. You can use any other stock you have available. So I'm adding my salt now. Then I'm going to cover it and allow it to cook while I quickly fry my vegetables I quickly made a switch so the rice is cooking and so we are going to go ahead to fry our vegetables so in front of me is a frying pan we are using so I'm going to add some little olive oil to it I'm not using much and I'll allow the olive oil to heat for a little while then I'm going to add the frozen vegetables to it so one of the reasons why I'm frying this frozen vegetable is because it's actually frozen and if I pour it like this in the rice, it's going to add more water to the rice and make the rice tasteless. So I'm frying it to extract that extra water from it before using it for the fried rice. So I'm just going to keep the frying. Then also I'm going to add a seasoning cube and salt so that the vegetable itself will be tasty in the rice. So I'm going to add one seasoning cube. Then I'm going to add some salt so the vegetable will have its own taste in the fried rice. Then just pouring it inside the rice and I'll continue to stir fry until I know it is a bit fried and I can see the water coming out of it. So now the rice is cooked just waiting for us to add the vegetable 
you can see the color like that's the turmeric color i love to see in my fried rice then you can see that the vegetable is actually frying and there are some little water in it and like i said if you just carry it like this and pour in the rice then you are going to have a very not like not tasteless rice but it's not going to be the way you like it so after frying it i have to pour it in the sieve and you can see the fluid the water that came out of it so imagine that extra water in your rice that is already cooked so i'll allow it to drain then i will pour it in the rice so the rice is all set and ready to be served you can actually eat it like this if you want however you're going to add your vegetables if you want to make it fried <laughs> so that's my vegetables like i said i sieve the water from it before adding it then i have my yellow and green bell pepper i'm adding so i didn't add this to fry because i didn't want it to be too cooked so it's the heat from the rice now that is going to fry the that is going to cook the green and yellow bell pepper so i'll make sure that i properly mix them together wow that's our fried rice is ready to be served as you can see we've actually we've already come to the end of it like very simple to step and also very few ingredients so i'm adding some little butter to it to make it more tasty and not to allow the rice to stick together as well so just mix it a little bit and cover my pot and leave it for a little while and come back to it at this point the heat is already reduced wow i can't just wait to eat this rice look at how inviting how delicious it looks so we've actually come to the end of this tutorial and you can see that the rice they are not sticking to themselves uh, but and they are also well cooked and also soft as well so look at it as i speak my uh, the aroma is everywhere so i'm just dishing it out into my serving dish for our dinner so i believe you must have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this wow i can't wait to have this for dinner so i already had some fried chicken i made available for this delicious fried rice and we have come to the end thank you for watching bye and see you in my next video